Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist. This is the first in a series of videos on um, how to use my modifiers. In this video I figured I'd start at the very beginning with a simple modifier, the array one-dimensional modifier. Similar to Blender's default array modifier, the array 1D modifier makes copies of the object along a single axis. Um, to use it, we'll need some geometry to array, so we'll just add a simple plane and drop a material on it. To use the modifier, we simply need to add it to the object. I prefer to do this from the modifier menu by clicking add modifier and beginning to type in array one dimensional and then selecting it. You can also drag and drop the modifier onto your mesh from the asset browser. Array one dimensional can operate in two different offset modes, either relative or absolute. Relative is the default mode and one relative unit is equal to the width of the object. Absolute is the other mode and one absolute unit is equal to one blender unit which in my case is set to meters, so it will be one meter. Then you can change the direction of the ray by editing the offset vector to offset either in a relative or an absolute amount, whatever value you set on the x, y, and z axes or some combination of those. The rotation property lets you rotate each additional copy in the array by some amount. So for example, we could rotate each copy in our array by an additional 90 degrees. Then if we were to resize our plane to be a rectangle, the effect is more obvious and you get this sort of pattern. The rotation is applied around the origin point of the object before the offset um, translation is applied. If you move the origin point away from the center of the mesh, you can set the offset vector to zero and instead spin the object around that origin point by only assigning a rotation value. That allows you to create interesting shapes such as this eight-sided star pattern. By checking or unchecking realize, you can choose whether the modifier outputs instances or a mesh. If realize is checked, merge verts will merge the vertices of adjacent copies in the array. Under the UV panel, you can enable the adjustment of the UVs of the mesh. Again, realize must be checked for this property to do anything. It can't work on instances. The offset value for the UVs is based on the width of a UV island in the layout. So if your UV islands are different sizes, each island will be offset by a different amount equal to their size. This allows textures to continue seamlessly across the array even if the UV layout contains islands of different scales and you typically do that by setting the offset on whatever axis you're arraying on to one. For example here I have made a little road section and it contains two different UV scales. The edges of the road are scaled slightly larger and then the center of the road is scaled smaller. The UV offset will always be applied in the positive U or V direction. So to make tiling seamless, you may have to rotate some of your islands by 180 degrees so that they offset in the correct direction. Or if there's a detail that makes rotating the UVs impossible, for example, this edge up here, um, it can't be rotated 180 degrees because it would make the detail non-symmetrical. In that case, you may instead need to scale your UVs by negative one on an axis, in this case, the x-axis. And that's about it for the Array 1 Dimensional Modifier. It's a generic tool, but one that's very often useful, and it's a good one to have in your toolkit. Um, I have a Discord server, which you're welcome to join. There's a link for that in the description. There's also links to my website, which has details about all of the nodes, and also links to where you can purchase my Geometry Node assets. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. Thanks for watching.